Right. This is a proof of concept of you know, drawing icons with the pie menus. Um, if you want to see how you can do this yourself or how it works, I'm going to post a more comprehensive video in a different thread. But over here on the pie menus thread, you search icon. It's one of the most commonly requested features. It looks like Uncle Entity is working on it, so hopefully I'm not reinventing the wheel or overlapping someone's work too much, but I had a good time working on it and it was fun. So, so first, just you know, showing icons being drawn in a radial menu. If you can't see them, you can make them bigger by using your scroll wheel, and you can right and left click to rotate them. This is, I just wanted to make sure that my icon drawing code was as robust and flexible as possible. So icons anywhere, any place, any size, any shape, any rotation. All right, escape to cancel. Next is more of a you know use case. So let's say you have five functions that you use all the time, but there's like three or four or five ones that you use maybe one out of ten times that you call this menu. So if you run your scroll wheel, you can populate the menu with the less used functions. Your most common ones stay up here, grouped together. Or maybe instead of cycling them, it could keep them in the same place and fill in the gaps. Uh, sky's the limit here. Again, this is because of um, I tried to make the code which places, being, places these along the ring as flexible as possible. Any number of spots, any size circle, any place, any rotation offset. And finally, this one goes out to uh, Blender Artist member Greg Zal. We all love a little eye candy, and we need spinning, rotating things, and of course later we'll make them bigger like the Mac Dock. I just want to see that again. Ah. Thanks for watching.